All right, sorry, I have a cough. I'll need to take the rest of the day off. This is an exercise that I use in my clinics a lot. And for some reason, through all of my YouTube work and all of the videos that are on the channel, we've never actually taken this five cone exercise and really shot it, you know, and put it in the light that it needs to be in. So here we are back. Um, this is Hondo. Hondo is one of my favorites. Um, he's a really wild three-year-old that I'm actually having a lot of fun with. Yeah, he's got a good turnaround on him. He's a great little horse, little red dun gelding. Uh, I, I think it's a lot of fun uh, developing these three-year-olds. So we're gonna have some fun with him. He's going to be our highlight of the month. So we're gonna shoot a couple videos on this horse. We're gonna use him today in the five cone exercise. You can kind of see where he's at with his steering and, and what he knows. He's super good minded. It's Monday morning and you know, he might've been a little bit wild when he come out of his stall, but he's, he's a good, good horse. And I like the way he moves. I like the way he moves his feet. Uh, I sure enjoy him. So we're gonna highlight him. We're gonna shoot a little bit as he progresses this month. And you guys get to watch how this horse comes along without any uh, extra. Let's go do it. So this is my signature five cone exercise and I wanna thank Donna Stiles for color coding my life. Um, I've spent a lot of time in many clinics trying to explain to everyone where to go next and how to get around this four leaf clover exercise and whatever other things that I've called it. Now with our cool colored cones, we can just go from the red cone to the purple cone, back to the red cone. And so this is an exercise where I'm gonna steer the same direction every time. This helps me get my horse's neck reined. It helps me manage their forward motion. It teaches them how to steer. And so I'm gonna coast through the middle. Every time I pass this center cone, I'm gonna to go to the next cone, in this case on my left. So here we're gonna to go to the blue cone. When we turn here, I'm going to look back at that red cone and I'm gonna put both legs on and steer. That horse has to come off of that outside rein. As soon as he makes that turn, I'm gonna let him coast again. I'm gonna really teach him that being straight and being soft, he'll get a reward for, okay? So I don't wanna fight with him because, you know, we get on the circle and we go circle and circle and circle and pull on him on the circle and fight with him on the circle. And then we wonder why they don't like to circle or why they drop their shoulder, fall in. This exercise is a whole bunch really of semicircles through the middle to the green cone, back through the middle to the purple cone that we're gonna slowly put together. And what I do every time that signal, that outside rain on this youngster, I'm gonna still pull on the inside a little bit to help his nose. But every time I turn the corner, I'm going to adjust how I do it so that he turns as smooth as possible. So it's very much about keeping the same rhythm you know, look up, lift that inside hand, put on that outside rein, turn, release him. You see how smooth that was? I'm gonna pick up his jog. I'm gonna do the same thing. Outside rein. When I turn the corner, pick up, I'm gonna draw both hands across, make him really move his body, then release him through the middle, let him coast. Look at my next cone. Now I'm gonna to go to the yellow cone down here. Gonna pick him up steer, push him out of there, let him go again. He's gonna get a release. Every time he steers, I'll let him go. And so I'm gonna start two-handed. Just draw that outside rein, let him go. And you see how he starts to dream about going forward. And if I can keep him forward out of those turns, he's always gonna steer good. I don't want him to suck back when I steer him or quit. I want him to keep that same rhythm so that he steers well, because reining is predominantly a steering competition. You'll see him take both hands, look there, let him go. If he relaxes, I'll go one-handed, you know, start to just keep my hand in the middle. I don't mind if he comes out of the bridle. I'm gonna look, draw my hand, back to that center cone, put it down again. 
when I get here, it's a small steer over here. And you can see how this colt starts to pay attention when I move my hand. He moves his shoulders to get back underneath my hand. And because we're steering multiple times the same direction, it's easy for him to see the pattern. So what I'm gonna do then is, is to get that horse to circle really well and stay out on the circle, I'm gonna make the inside of the circle a lot of work, you know? So I'm working on him, make him work inside the circle. We're gonna steer a lot, make sure he stays between the reins, make sure he stays forward. And once I'm happy, you know, this horse is going pretty good, I'm gonna pick up my lope to the left here, I'll ask him to lope left, and at the same time, steer around this pattern and keep the same rhythm. And once he's worked really hard in this pattern and I'm happy with how he goes around, then I'll send him out and let him circle around the four cones. In this case, the yellow, green, you know, we're gonna go yellow, blue, purple, green, and we're gonna circle around it. And, and if at any point he decides he wants to lean in or he doesn't wanna steer good, I'll let him do that so that he goes back into the circle and the inside of the circle becomes a lot of work, okay? So let's pick up his lope, see how he feels. And it's the same rules. I'm gonna put my legs on, steer him, pull on him. He's got COVID too. See, he loses rhythm, steer on him. I'm just gonna steer back through the middle, let him coast. This allows him to get stronger too, you know, and use his body. See, he loses his rhythm there a little bit. I don't care. Come down here, steer on him. Let him find his own body. I don't need this to be a barrel racing turn. It's gotta stay smooth. He has to stay up and forward. Woo! I gotta stay smooth so he doesn't think about changing directions on me. You see, one motion, one motion, one motion, let it go. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. One motion, one motion, one motion, one motion, let him go. Now that he's being good, I'm gonna put him down and let him go out on the circle. And I should be able to steer him wherever I want now. You see that? And so this becomes easy for him. And he figures out how to balance himself on a draped train without speeding up or running faster. You know, if he starts to run fast or, you know, gets busy, I can pick him up here, take hold of him, steer him back in the pattern, take hold of him, us to make him figure it out you see now this becomes a lot of work go back out on our circle You see, and he'll just start to coast on his own, pretty consistent.
So the plan this month is, you know, as we as we video and follow his progress this month, is to get him, you know, from his first set of sliders into really running and figuring out what they're for. Uh, he's got a lot of mental stop. He definitely has a stop in him, you know, on his bare feet he stops. So we'll have to be a little bit careful that we don't just run and stop him. We've got to build the confidence slowly so that he learns how to use those sliders without scaring himself or, you know, losing the confidence that he has. Uh, the turn's gonna be really cool. Uh, his right turn's real smooth. The left turn's gonna take a little work, so you'll probably see some turning exercises, some of the stuff that I do to move their front feet. You know, he sometimes gets a little stuck turning to the left, so we'll probably talk about that a bunch. And, and basically, we'll see, we'll see where he gets to. It'll be kind of fun just to follow the progress of, of one of the three-year-olds here in the barn and see what happens. You guys let me know if you like it. Uh, if you don't like it, we'll quit doing it. We'll do something else. I mean, we've got lots of things to do. So I'm really excited. We're over the next couple months going to feature a bunch of these new videos on the YouTube channel for free, but it's going to be really cool because they'll be shortened versions of a subscription service that we're also going to begin uh, developing. So we're, we're just starting to grow a library of longer format videos, more in depth, uh, more analysis, you know, stop and go, you know, all that sort of thing that, uh, you know, is, is, very very interesting to a lot of people and will give you access to more of the things that i do here so over the next three months look on on youtube follow us you know subscribe uh, get those shorter versions and at the same time let us know if you're interested you know and sign up for this subscription service let us know what kind of content you'd like on it uh, we're here to to serve you know the horse community and and the stuff that you guys want to see